Hey there, it's Sherry. How are you doing today? Have you been trying to lose weight? You think you're doing all the right things and it just isn't happening. You know all the things to do. You're eating healthier and exercising. So what might be stopping you from dropping the weight you would like to lose? Here are three reasons you may not have even thought about not eating enough food. A lot of the people I work with think that they are they need to drastically cut how much they eat. And maybe you are overeating, but possibly not. It also may be changing out what you are eating and filling in with different healthier choices so that you can meet your goal. I also have people that I work with that say, well, I'm just not hungry, so I don't eat. They don't eat all day and then have a very unhealthy meal in the evening. When you don't eat enough, your body believes it is in starvation mode. So your body is going to hold on to everything and not release the extra weight. Your body believes that it may need those fat reserves to survive. Make sure you eat enough food throughout the whole day just like your car. You know, if you don't give it the right fuel, oil and water, it's not gonna run. Guess what? Neither will your body. The next thing is eating the right amount of protein. Protein helps build lean muscle, but it is also crucial for proper functioning of organs, cells and tissues. You need high quality protein to be healthy overall and for an active lifestyle. Eating enough high quality protein helps you feel satisfied and not hungry. If you eat too much protein, it can actually turn to sugar in your body, which then turns to fat if your body is unable to use it. The optimal amount of protein you need to eat is individual to you. But from my research, about half your body weight in grams of protein is a great place to start. And the last thing is too much stress. You're living and breathing, therefore, you more than likely have stress in your life. Stress can cause you to hold on to weight. Stress can cause you to have an increase in appetite. And you will probably crave unhealthy food uh, choices like high sugary or salty processed foods. These foods may calm your brain, but it starts a vicious cycle of stress eating. Stress eating leads to storing fat, especially around your tummy, butt, and thighs. Really don't want it there, do you? But take some time to do those things that you know help you to de-stress. Exercise, walk in nature, on the beach, meditating, reading, Whatever helps you, take some time to yourself. You deserve it. There are many more things that could be preventing you from reaching your weight loss goals. What I have found to be most effective for my clients is eating the right balance of healthy sources of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. There is a unique amount and ratio just for you. You should never be hungry. It is never about deprivation. Send me a message if you would like to create a plan that works for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.